Welcome to another very exciting five minute wood pairing. So, <clears throat> you know, chess. Let's try a French defense. Pretty standard so far. Check. Check. So this line I've played a few times Check. before. How does it go? <laughs> uh, is it a quick bishop a6? Trying to get some compensation here. I think it's bishop a6. Um, I suspect it's bishop a6. Right, so knight c5 now. I've had worse from this variation. Yeah, it's sort of weakness to the last move, knight b2. It gives me that knight c5. Let's try and discourage him from castling. Uh, although taking in queen e2. And there's queen a3. It carries on with queen a3 and rook c. Yeah, I think, I think this is... This is fun a little bit, a little bit fun already because the possibility of queen a3, I think. Check king e7. If I can use that c file quickly, this might not be entirely uh, bad. <clears throat> I think I take her. Okay, so some questions queen a3, for example. Or rook c8. Or knight e4. Which one? Queen a3, queen d4, there's queen b2 there. Will he spot that? I think that's interesting, queen a3. So queen b2 for knight d3 check. And then let's say he does knight d3. What about just knight e4? If knight d4? Knight d3. Mm hmm. I get a nice knight on e4 and get this c file. But I'm getting I'm losing a pawn back. So it's like being a knight down basically. Um I don't know what compensation I've really got. I have, to, I have to revisit this line, or maybe just end an analysis. I, I mean, I've played this weird thing before, but this looks really uh, dodgy here. <clears throat> Is he just getting an attack? Can I knight b five rook d knight b five? This looks pretty scary. It has sort of attacking potential. I don't seem to have anything. Um, that's a shame. Uh, take. If I have at least rook c3, what is he going to make me with knight f5? Right, rook c3. Mm, queen g4, okay, g6. I'm just wondering if I get any tactic like queen c5 for knight f2 now. Is that possible?
So queen c5 check. check. Has he got just queen d4? Maybe he's just got queen d4. <laughs> Why have I played this? Oh, I need to check this out a bit more. Oh, man. I think just queen d4. I don't know what the heck I'm doing after queen d4. I don't know why. I don't know what he's seen there. Okay, so he's giving me knight f2. Check. Is there a key point he's making here? I mean, I don't know why he didn't. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> Maybe it is a vicious attack of some sort. Um, if I get a quick C file, he's got, he's got a check here. Check. Plays that immediately. If I play this, oh, he's got knight h5 check. Right here. It's coming on to the dark squares quite quickly. Knight h5 check is pretty unpleasant. But maybe king h6? Oh, I could try that. I think I'm going to get mated here. Knight h5, king h6. Oh. Mm -mm. Rook c4 is nice h5. <clears throat> Do I get a chance for rook, the other rook to see it threaten rook c1? That might have been interesting. Um, it's this queen f6. I have got king h6 there. Is that palatable? So I'm threatening rook c1 now. Um, Check. I thought he might have had some alternative there, though. Um, I really didn't need to do this. If he hasn't got a check here, he's threatened with rook c1. I, I need to really check out this opening, even if whatever happens here. Again, it just seems ridiculous. It was a thing in, in former time a few years back, but I've, I've misplayed it, surely. It just seemed to be a piece down with like a pawn. It, uh, okay. Um, well, there's a few checks to follow up here. Check. Check. Hmm. I'm giving he's got queen g5. I don't see immediately Check. what else is going on. Check. I think so. I'll just have a quick check for a few seconds. I can't immediately see it. <clears throat> I think I need to check what's going on in the opening. Click draw. Alright, let's have a look at what's going on in the opening. <clears throat> Check. Check. Fine so Check. far, right? Mm. Can't think immediately. Vision D3, B6. This way. 
I'm not losing d4, it has got a benefit, you know, and also f5. The brakes are immediately put on f5. So I guess there are some massive pawns here as compensation. Can I not play g6, by the way? No, that would be losing the c5 pawn. Do I lose a pawn here then? Check. I get this mess of pawns for a moment. Is that it? I, I think it's a dodgy line. It's a dodgy line. <laughs> right, so the way I'm playing it. Alright, bishop a6. Knight c5. Knight b3. I, I, sorry. Sorry. After knight b3. I might have had this exact position before in other Blitz games. Check, check. So it's interesting to chase this up carefully. Hold on a sec. Rook c8. Now what about the d4 pawn? Now if he takes that, then there's knight takes b3. If he takes here, now queen a3 with a vengeance, right? Why is this better for black? Is it because... Check. I'm late to see free. And look at this position. Yes, there's certain. Pawn. Pawn up. Two, pa two pawns. It's better for black. So hang on, let's have a quick look at this. So it's basically giving rook c8. And if castles. No, it can't castle. King f2. Queen a3. Knight d3. Check. Check. Now if queen d2. Okay, rook c2. Yeah, this is much better than the game. So somehow. I think I might have wasted time here. Playing what I did. Actually, the kind of weakness of the last move I've created in that he can do knight d3 now. Because my queen was stopping that before. So hang on a sec. The queen's got to stop knight d3. So is rook c8 kind of a high class <laughs> waiting move? In one respect, yeah, it's clear that queen d4 is impossible. But knight d4 is more subtle. I gain a tempo here to get into e3. If he has to play a move like rook f1, then, okay, again, there's, there's two choices. Say so takes of the knight. Check. Check, Check wins the queen. Still punishment there. And say so took with the queen. This this is apparently it's, it's when to do queen a three. When it's most effective. I I think I'm It's, it's a very, very sharp line, really, uh, to get right. So this position, mental note to self, rook c8, because the queen and knight are stopping, actually, uh, knight d3. If I ever play this, it's, it's, it's a ridiculous line, I have to say. So rook c8. So let's go with, castling is ruled out as well. The, actually, that's the other question. Couldn't It's not just about d3, it's about stopping castling, yeah? So the way I've played it, couldn't you just also castle? No, actually, the B2, all oh, right, you can castle. What's, what's happening here? Check. This looks very scary. Am I losing the right then? What the heck is this about? Check. Wow, you can't even just castle. So that's more emphatic then about not losing control of the diagonal, not just d3, but f1, stop actual uh, castling. So it's needed uh, a waiting move, but I just want to ask basically <laughs> the computer. Uh, the other thing I wanted to ask <laughs> is what about just castling? Is that terrible? Queen e2. 
Now, just to show the power of Roxy 8 Helm, Queen E2 here, right, taking Check. is better for black then, is it? Oh, because of the Rook C2. So it's actually ruling out f quite a few moves then. Yeah. Check. All right, yeah, the game continuation just seemed to be a p like a piece up feeling and my king falling apart feeling. Check. 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 That was a sort of mistake. Queen G5. Yeah, I think the king's falling apart. Let's let's say here. Check. Let's force the mate. Check mate. Well, that knight's useful on E7 then. Check. It's equal now. Check. Oh, it would have been equal <laughs> if I played Queen G3. Check. 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 Fascinating. Check. Right, Check. I went for the special. Okay, I I still don't know how to play this variation exactly, even though I've played it quite a few times. Yeah. <laughs> okay, comments, questions, thanks, appreciate it. Thanks very much.